everyone, welcome back to Ali Bakes. I'm Eliza Saw, and today we're making peeps. And if you're unfamiliar with what peeps are, they're basically just marshmallows in the shape of little baby chicks. And I think they're super popular in the States, a little popular here, but definitely available during Easter. So we're gonna be making some, and I'm going to be trying to make my own little gourmet kind of homemade version and instead of taking a plain marshmallow recipe i'm basically making a honey vanilla marshmallow mm -mm -mm. so if you want to see how i do it then just keep on watching first thing you're going to need is the yellow dusting sugar and i'm going to be coloring my own if you want to save some time feel free to go to the store just buy some pre-colored sugar I'm making my own because I want it to be more of a pastel yellow rather than the super bright yellow that peeps usually are. And I'm going to be taking one cup of sugar and putting in five drops of food coloring and just mixing it around until the color kind of disperses evenly. And another good way to do this is to sift the sugar and make sure the large crystals of food coloring get properly crushed down into smaller pieces. Now for the actual marshmallow. So for the marshmallows, the first thing you're going to need is some unflavored gelatin. This is about one pack. And then we're gonna need some cold water to bloom our gelatin. And then for the actual marshmallow part, we're going to be using some sugar and some honey instead of corn syrup. And this is what's gonna give us our honey vanilla flavor. And then of course, vanilla and a little bit more cold water. So to put it together, we're going to need the gelatin and the first portion of cold water. And we're gonna pour the cold water into our mixing bowl and we're just going to sprinkle the gelatin over this so that it evenly soaks up the water and just blooms, which is what this whole process is called. It's called blooming. <laughs> so we're going to bloom our gelatin beforehand so that's pretty much ready to go once everything else is ready to go. So I'm gonna pop that into my stand mixer and get everything else ready. So we've got our honey, our sugar, our water, and our vanilla. We can put the vanilla aside for now and into our saucepan, we can add our granulated sugar and the water. And then we're just going to give this a very gentle mix so that all the sugars um, kind of get a chance to mix together, but don't be too vigorous. You don't wanna get any sugar crystals on the side of the saucepan because that could lead to pre-crystallization of your sugar when you're boiling it and that is a no 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 so we're just going to take our saucepan over to the stove top so as you can see i've got my stand mixer ready with the gelatin and then we've got our vanilla on standby and we've got the saucepan on the stove top and we're going to put this on high heat you want to make sure you've got your candy thermometer ready and we're just basically going to boil this until it comes up to 115 to 16 degrees Celsius. And be careful, it will bubble up a lot. Um, yep, yeah. so as soon as it reaches 116 degrees Celsius, you want to basically turn on your stand mixer on a low speed and then pour the sugar syrup onto the side of the spoon the bowl and you want to do this very slowly until all of the sugar is into the pot and then once all the sugar is in the pot you can not the pot bowl and as soon as all the sugar is in the bowl you can turn the speed up to high and basically just whip this up until it reaches a very stiff consistency um it took mine about 12 minutes in total in the last two minutes i added my vanilla extract and basically as soon as it's ready to go, you have to be ready to go. So while it's whipping up, you wanna prepare your pan. And what I'm doing is just taking a cookie tray, lining it with parchment paper, and putting my dusting sugar all along the bottom of the pan so that the little baby chicks have somewhere to sit. And by baby chicks, I mean my marshmallow. Duh. <laughs> Basically, you wanna have your piping bag ready and it needs to have a large piping tip in there. It's a plain tip and we're just going to very quickly basically shovel our marshmallow into the piping bag and close it up and get ready to pipe ASAP. You need to pipe as fast as you've never piped before. <laughs> 
because I made the mistake of just putting in half of my marshmallow into my piping bag and then starting to pipe instead of putting all of it into my piping bag. So you wanna try and get as much marshmallow batter into your piping bag as possible um, just because of how fast it sets. And so I started piping my first row of peeps and I did this by doing like a drop piping technique, piping a little like mound and then flicking away the tip so that it creates a little tail and then piping the little head so putting another smaller mound onto the top but a little bit to the side and then flicking away the other way to get the beak. I hope that made sense. And so after you've piped out a row, I took way too long. I put my dusting sugar all over it. I was getting a little too excited. I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. And then totally forgot how fast the marsh marshmallow sets. So basically once I got back to it, I had to basically stuff the rest into my bag, but it was already kind of half set. And then I started piping my second row. And it's okay. <laughs> and you can kind of see my disaster, but I, yeah, but you know, it still tasted delicious. I kind of ate the marshmallow off of my, my the, the whisk attachment, and then I kind of ate the marshmallow out of the bowl, and then I cleaned it. It's so delicious and super fluffy and chewy. The original peeps have eyes on them. They have <laughs> painted eyes on them, and I, I was like, okay, maybe I'll try and put the eyes on there. And I did this with a little bit of food coloring and just watered it down a little bit and I took the blunt end of a long skewer to create like a dot, just to kind of like poke a dot of dye onto the face. And I decided I just didn't like it. I don't know, I just felt like it was staring into the like bottom of my soul. I mean, optional, you could totally do it. it it's still kind of cute, but I didn't like it. So I just left it out. Um, yeah. So that's how I made my marshmallow peeps. You know what? I'm gonna eat one right now. Here is one of my little peeps and you can tell it's from the second row. <laughs> but I mean, it's still got the little head shape, the little tiny beak and the tiny, tiny little tail. They're super squishy and so look, just look at that bounce. And so, they are very sticky. If you miss a spot of the dusting sugar, you will know because it will stick <laughs> and you will get marshmallow everywhere. It's a huge mess to make, but it's so worth it and so delicious. But anyways, bye baby cheeky, you gotta go. So fluffy and delicious. Look at the air bubbles in that. I highly recommend you try to make your own peeps. You don't have to pipe the little chicks, but if you do, kudos to you. Take a picture. I want to see it. Tag me at Ali Saw on Instagram. And happy Easter, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I did another Easter themed video last week. So if you haven't seen that, feel free to check it out. I made little coconut cupcakes with a coconut nest and mini eggs as the topper so yeah if you want to check that out then feel free to do so and thank you for watching bye